I've been a journalist for over 10 years and I've worked across a variety of publications during that time, from legal to accountancy, cruise shipping and now to TV technology. I did. Um, during my university degree, I did a couple of work placements. Um, I did two periods at my local newspaper, the Press and Advertiser, um, which was really useful actually because that was my first real chance to see my work being published and, and also to actually decide if I wanted to go down the route of journalism. Um, because I always enjoyed writing, but it was only when I worked in my local newspaper that I thought actually journalism is the route I want to go. Um, I also did some work experience on the Saturday Telegraph magazine. I did um, a lot of research there. I was doing background research for the editorial team, um, so using their press cuttings, their own library, um, to do research on celebrity stories, for example. And um, I also did some work experience on TV Hits magazine. I think with work experience, you can expect to probably start off with doing a lot of research. So you might be working with an editorial team who already has an idea of the type of articles that, that, that are coming up. And they might give you an article to say, we're going to do a bit of background research on, on this band or this TV program. Um, and then they'll incorporate some of your research into one of their articles, perhaps. You can expect to do a lot of administrative tasks that other people don't want to do. So a lot of photocopying and filing, um, things like that. Maybe even looking through press cuttings. But depending on where you work, I mean, when I worked on my local newspaper, I actually got to do some of my own writing. Um, I even got to interview um, Zach from Northern Line, a local boy band, um, and I was also in charge of the property section as well and liaising with a photographer to organise photo shoots. So I think it will all just depend on what opportunities there are there at the time, how many other staff there are in the magazine and I suppose how well you perform as well. I think on your CV it's really important to list all the relevant work experience that you've had. So it doesn't matter if you have done a lot of writing for free, I think that shows that you really have a passion for writing. So really just to show your passion for writing and your relevant work experience. And also the other important thing about being a journalist is um, having really good communication skills and networking skills. So that's something to highlight in your CV as well. And also if you've done some travel and maybe you've covered exhibitions or you've done any daily news reporting, that's always good to include in your CV as well. I think the main thing is to show that you're confident. Um, to be a journalist, you have to be able to speak to lots of different people at all seniority levels. So being confident is um, definitely a key thing. Um, also, I think in an interview, it's always good if you can bring along a portfolio of your work, even if it means that you've, worked, you've been writing for a website for free. I think as long as you can show that you have some writing experience and that will really help you to stand out. Definitely. I would say that the most popular areas of journalism are travel, entertainment and anything to do with showbiz or celebrity. I think those are the most desirable areas to get into and they are very competitive. Um, but from my experience, I found that most young journalists or new graduates would tend to go into a trade publication first rather than a consumer magazine um, and gain some of their experience. Um, in B2B first. Uh, I studied media and psychology at university and a lot of my fellow students on the media course, they didn't actually go into journalism or anything media related once they graduated. I was one of the few that actually um, used my degree in my career. So I don't think that you really need to have done a media degree or journalism. I think 
even if you've done a degree in English or history or something like that, you can still convert your skills into journalism. I think as long as you have a solid grasp of, you know, good English, good spelling, grammar, punctuation, all of that, those are sort of the basic skills that you need. And you can always do an NCTJ course in news or feature writing to um, brush up on your skills. It's uh, the National Council for Training Journalists and it's a really good resource actually to go to to find out about training possibilities. It's also good to find out about if you want to be a freelancer, it gives you advice even on what you should be charging as a freelance rate. So it's a really good resource. Um, my workflow is very busy. Um, I'd say a typical day for me is very varied and I'm always having to juggle a lot of different tasks and I have to prioritise what's important as well. So on a typical day I might be working on one of my features, I may then need to switch to writing a conference news story. Um, I do some work on the website as well so it could involve posting up a news story or I might be needed to approve a newsletter, so it is quite varied. And when it comes to print deadline, it does get really hectic. And um, I'll be sitting at my computer for two solid days, looking at quark pages and trying to sub. Can it, so it can get quite frantic, and sometimes we have to work a bit late just to make sure that we get the magazine to print. Um, but it keep being busy just um, keeps you motivated, I think. I think the best thing for me is actually seeing my work in print. I mean, I've been a journalist for over 10 years now, but I still get really excited when the magazine finally gets back from the printers and I get to see my work in print. And um, yeah, that's, that's never boring for me. And also when you actually hear back from readers and they give you feedback and they say, wow, that article is really interesting, or that they actually learned something from your article. and. Um, Recently I've seen a couple of tweets where someone's tweeted, oh, check out this um, amazing feature, and I think, oh, I wrote that. <laughs> and it's a, yeah, it's a really good feeling, so um, that's what I really enjoy about it.